Hello everybody, Scott here. I'd like to show everyone how to use an unbelievable function in Power BI, more specifically in Power Query, uh, called the unpivot function. And what this, what this does is it takes your information from being in a very wide format to a very tall and skinny format. This makes your, your data a lot more tidy and easier to put into visualizations, or to put into things such as a pivot table or a matrix. So let's go take a look at what my final visualization is going to look like. Let me condense some of these fields on the right over here. And what you're seeing is a bunch of, for this example, this is all fictitious data, but you'd have a couple different marketing campaigns, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, multiple years, 2000 through 2020, and then some value. And in this case, I'm just calling it clicks. So you've got clicks by campaign by year. Now the data is not in a great format right off the bat. And we had to do a lot to get it to the point where it made sense inside of a visualization like this. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to the power query editor by clicking on transform data. And I am going to start by showing you what my information looks like. So as you can see, We've got the campaigns in column one, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, which is great. Now the issue is I've got the years and the clicks within those years spread across multiple columns. So 2000, 2001, all the way down to the year 2020. So for a pivot table or a matrix or a visualization, this information needs to be in a tall and skinny format. So in order to transform it, I'm gonna click on the first column, hold shift, Highlight the rest of the columns, right click, unpivot. All right, sweet. Let's go ahead and rename the column headers now. Attribute, we really mean that to say year. Value, we really mean that to say clicks. And we'll click close and apply. And this data set will uh, refresh with the new information in just a second. But what you're looking at here now is the is the is the is the the visualization with the data in exactly the format we need to now accept that information in future years and the and the visualization will not break any longer.